This is a build log video of the mini quad. Calculated all the parts and components to come out to $106.54 at the time of this video. And I want to show you guys all the bits and pieces that are part of this build. So we'll start with the frame, bottom plate, top plate, four motor mounts. The 3D printed parts all weigh about 48 grams and the cost of this frame is $2.40. We have the dowel rod that I'm using for the booms. They're cut to three and a half inches and this dowel rod from Home Depot, five sixteenth inch diameter costs about 88 cents. multi we flip flight controller, $15. Turnigy 1811 2900 kV motor. Those run $10.57. Turnigy Plush 10 amp ESCs. Those run $9.24. And our battery, 800 milliamp 2S LiPo, $5.33. Once again, that comes to just north of $100, $106.54 does not include the receiver or transmitter so you could almost call this a almost ready to fly build now this bottom plate top plate and four motor mounts i'm making available for download on thingiverse and the build information with all these parts is going to be available on garage pilots so please feel free to download and if you'd like access to the design files to tweak them definitely let me know and you can see these are pretty easy to just slide these dowel rods in each corner of the bottom plate and we'll go ahead and just put a little CA down to secure those booms and these motor mounts just slide easily onto the, to the other end of the boom And then you just want to look down the edge of each to make sure it's centered and, and I like to just put it in place to make sure that each four landing gear legs are nice and flat on the surface. Now with our frame pieces glued together, we're going to mount our ESCs. See there's no power distribution board. These connections are just soldered and then covered with some liquid electrical tape and then we'll mount the motors after that. We have our ESCs mounted with zip ties. A lot of zip ties are used with this build. We're going to run the leads that go to the multi wee through the center of the top plate. Now one thing I want to mention with this top plate, there are these indentions or offset that fit nicely onto these where these booms mount and the intent originally with my first print I'd put this on and glued this top plate into place right to the top of each of these boom mounts but the problem was sometimes I needed to take this off so uh, what I've been doing in, in the meantime is just zip tying this into place and when I get to a point where I feel comfortable about the build knowing that I'm not going to have to mess with the electronics at all I'll, uh, use some CA glue. Our top plate is in place. Now we're going to mount all four motors. We have our motors mounted. Next up we're going to mount our multi we Connect all the motors and then what we want to do is we want to make certain that our motors spin in the proper direction. So counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise down here, and clockwise down here. So we'll get everything connected and if necessary, if a motor is spinning in the wrong direction, we'll just switch two of the three ESC leads and then that will get the motor going in the other direction. And now we have our multi we mounted with receiver. And what I plan on doing in the next version is you'll notice that this multi we is just connected to the top plate using uh, some Kyosho Zil, which is super sticky and I don't I'm not too concerned about it going anywhere, but I do want to design a top plate that has some standoffs uh, that this can be mounted to. Now I've gone ahead and loaded the firmware, done the GUI configuration, calibrated the ESCs and all that. And if you're not familiar with any of that, 
have several videos on my channel that walk you through that process. So I'll go ahead and arm the board and let's see if that LED, yep, we're armed and let's give it a little bit of throttle. And now we'll take it up for a test flight. Okay, so let's take it up with the default firmware load. Really no tuning, or other than calibrating the accelerometer. A little bit of wind today. But let's see how our cat behaves. Very responsive. Nice and stable. Take it through the trees again. Hopefully don't run into one. And I'm flying in manual mode, which gives you no self-leveling, but it's real easy to control. Gains are very low. Just the Multi-Wii is an amazing flight controller out of the box. And this thing has a lot of get up and go. A little too close. So that's the DIY mini build, maiden flight outside. A fair amount of wind for such a small quadcopter in it responded really well. So I'm going to be putting the 3D files so that you can print on Thingiverse. I'll have the entire build log on Garage Pilot. Links will be in the description. And one of the great things about it is I've <laughs> broken, this is probably my fourth frame, and it's real easy to uh, print and get back up in the air. So please feel free to post any questions or comments below. Let me know if you do one of these builds, and thanks for watching.